So we're in Margaret River, Western Australia, and we're having a pop-up dinner at the White Elephant Cafe restaurant. So our dinner is a satellite event for the Margaret River uh, Gourmet Escape. So they're doing basically a, a massive event showcasing how wonderful, how amazing uh, Western Australian produce is, Margaret River produce is. Uh, so yeah, we're pretty stoked to be part of it. It was really nice working at the White Elephant. The team are just awesome. You know, the chefs are, are super excited to learn and, and happy to work and, and welcoming some random into their kitchen. The first course was a carpaccio snapper with shaved fennel, citrus reduction and split vanilla bean dressing. The second course was a butter poached marin tail on carrot puree with pickled samphire and some smoked macadamia nuts. I really wanted to use a secondary cut meat to show off how you know, their secondary cut meats can be just as awesome, if not more tasty than, you know, the expensive ones. So I've chosen a pork cheek. So I've braised it really slowly so it falls apart. It's gorgeous, rich, full of flavour, white wine, chicken stock. Um, it's on a cauliflower puree. Uh, it's got some beautiful pan fried mushrooms, some fried cauliflower, some crispy enokis, and then we've made a really nice sort of full flavoured jus to go on top. So that's a, a really nice, simple, earthy, you know, celebration on on farming, you know, WA farming. So that's, that's how I went with that, that dish. So we're at the Margaret River local markets and we saw some of the most amazing artisan handmade chocolate from Bain & Co. It's stone ground, you know, had all these awesome flavors with sea salt and sea salt and chili and, you know, different um, single origin chocolates. So I have to use that. You know, I love a good quality chocolate and I couldn't go past it. Bain & Co pride themselves in the traditional approach to making chocolate and you can really taste the love that goes into each bar. The guys focus on a bean-to-bar philosophy. I've got an epic uh, fondant recipe. I'm gonna do a chocolate fondant. It's gonna have uh, lemon myrtle in there. It's got some sea salt. Um, it's gonna come with some smoked macadamias and then a really nice sort of beautiful uh, cornell of sour cream sorbet, which you can have lemon myrtle to it too. Um, it's simple, but the chocolate is of such high quality that. I didn't really want to kill that quality by, you know, bulking it out with too many different flavours. Margaret River is home to some of the world's best surf. So we packed the boards and we headed for the river mouth to see what we could find. So it's not the, uh, not the picturesque, perfect day we're after. The coastline is literally covered with epic beach and reef breaks. Even though the southwester was killing the swell, we did manage to find a little action. With just a taste, we'll definitely be back for some serious surf later this year. Hey guys, so look, we've spoken to some locals in town and they've given us a heads up about an awesome fromagerie um, out in the bush here. It's uh, Cambrai Fromagerie, so they make the most amazing uh, dairy and sheep milk cheese, Cambrai cheeses. Um, I'm super excited to check it out, check out how the cheese is made. Months old, yeah, and basically we just get them out and turn them over. The end product is only good as the sheep are healthy, the grass and, is and, they're, and they're only as healthy as the, as, as the, as the pasture they're you know, consuming. I'm uh, getting my hands dirty. Cambrai cheese makes some of the best soft sheep cheeses I've ever tasted, but it was Manchego that got me really excited, especially when Tom invited us in to make a meal for uh, ourselves. I apologise ahead just in case all goes wrong. <laughs> With the milk separated, we had to scoop out the curd and pack it into the moulds. It was a lot harder than it looked but somehow it worked out. We'll be back next year to collect the results. We've had an awesome experience in Margaret River. We've done some surfing. We've met some amazing suppliers. We've made some cheese. Um, we've headed out to wineries and played around the vineyards. You know, we headed out and we did some awesome bushwalking through the uh, Carrier Forest. It was amazing. It's pretty awesome to see all aspects of Margaret River, you know, from the ocean to the bush to the vineyards, to the, the Atissian makers of produce. Yeah, so it's been an amazing experience.